Hi, I'm Jason Thibault, founder of DaVinci Medical and the creator of the Superhuman Protocol. In this video, we're going to talk about EWOT, E-W-O-T, Exercise with Oxygen Therapy. Now, EWOT is not a product. EWOT is an acronym. There are products that let you do EWOT, and this is one of them. This is called Hypermax Oxygen, and this is stage two of the Superhuman Protocol. Stage one is where we do PEMF therapy, or what we call pulsed electromagnetic field therapy. And that's where you lay on a body mat, you alkalize the blood by sending a magnetic field through the body along with various frequencies. And now we have created an opportunity for more oxygen to get to more red blood cells. So during stage two, we work out for about 15 minutes under load, meaning we're doing interval sprinting. So a typical protocol will look like this. You're working out for about three minutes at a very comfortable pace, and then you'll sprint for about 30 seconds. Then you'll come back down for about three minutes and sprint again. So let's talk about Hypermax and exactly how it works. So what we see here are the basic components of Hypermax, bike not included. So this is a 900 liter bag and that is full of oxygen, roughly 90 to 93% purity. And this is the oxygen generator that you use to fill the bag. So what will happen is you'll turn on this oxygen generator, which makes about 10 liters per minute of oxygen, and fills this bag within an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how much oxygen was in it before. Maybe somebody used it before that. So we've got the bag full, and once the bag is full, you will go ahead and remove your oxygen hose and you're going to connect it to an oxygen mask. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show the mask. This has a two-way valve, so we'll be connecting the hose into the oxygen in and you exhale your CO2 into the room. So when you're exercising on your bike, and you're breathing, you're inhaling oxygen from this bag. You never breathe back into it. When you breathe in, you breathe in oxygen. When you exhale, your CO2 goes into the room. So no worry about getting your breath in this tube. That's not going to happen. This two-way valve prevents that. Now, if you look at this bag compared to other devices that are on the market, this takes up 24 by 24 inches. This is the smallest footprint of any EWAT system in the world, in fact. And it runs at about seven and a half feet tall. So it's a fantastic space saver. You can get this in black or white. Now, one of the interesting features about Hypermax Oxygen are these optional weights that are on all four corners. And what these weights do is it creates positive pressure so that you can adjust the amount of pressure coming out of the hose to make it easier or more difficult to breathe from. A nice feature that we have in our oxygen generator is HEPA filtration, so that any air coming into the generator that gets converted to a higher purity is HEPA filtered. So you have the cleanest, purest oxygen that you're gonna get in any system on the market. Another great feature about Hypermax Oxygen is we can run as many generators as we want. Well, what does that mean? That means that instead of waiting 50 minutes to fill the bag, we can fill it in just 10 minutes. Now, how do we do that? This is 900 liters of oxygen. So if you have four generators running, you're making 40 liters a minute. In 15 minute session, someone's going to consume all of that. But if you leave the generators running while they're working out, you're actually putting about 600 liters back into the bag. So you really only have about 300 liters left to fill. So 300 liters, we can fill that up in 10 minutes easily. So as you get busy, what you want to do is add a second, third or fourth generator to keep up with your demand. For the basic system, it comes with one generator, that's all you need. It comes with everything you see here, it comes with the hose, the valve that 
keeps the hose tight while you fill it up, comes with the oxygen generator. Everything is included except your piece of cardio. I recommend that you get the smallest footprint device possible because you want to save space. In fact, one great way to do this is to turn the bike around, face the bag. You can put the generator right in front of the bag and you put the handlebars right over the generator so you can have the bike right here. And this whole depth is seven feet by two feet wide. So you can fit an entire Hypermax oxygen system, including bike, in seven by two feet. Again, smallest footprint of any EWAT system in the world. Let's talk about masks. So this is a Hypermax oxygen mask. Now they come in two different types. This is blue, medical grade silicone. This can be autoclaved and sterilized. Now for most people and for clinics, I recommend the clear version. The clear version people do not share. You can sell it to your patients. Uh, for home use, you would use it yourself. You maintain it, you keep it clean, and you don't share it. Again, in a clinical setting, if they need to be shared, these can be sterilized. And this comes off and so does the strap. Now it comes in three different sizes. Extra small, small and medium. The sizing chart is on the website. If your size is really close to the next size up, go to the next size up on the size chart. Now, if you look at this mask, it actually has a chin to it and a nose area. So this is anatomically correct. This is not some mask that fits upside down, like some of the masks on the market that I've seen, which are supposed to be one size fits all and universal, they're not. This is a very, very high-end mask. When it's on your face, it's very comfortable and it's very snug. Now, once you've put this on your head and you've adjusted it, there's a six way adjustable strap here. Once you've adjusted it for your head, in the future, you put it on like a helmet and then you simply unclip the two front straps and you just pull it straight off. That way, the next time you put it on, you don't need to adjust everything. You just snap the clips right back into place. So let's talk about maintenance. There is no maintenance. <laughs> Essentially, the oxygen generator will let you know when you need to replace the filter. So there's a HEPA filter in here, and then there's some post filters. And so you'll just keep an eye on those, but it'll probably be a very long time before you hear an audible alert that will let you know that the HEPA filter runs out. So this will make oxygen for you for years and years to come. These are designed to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but you're only going to be running this in a home maybe two or three times a day, every other day. In a clinic, you might be running this a total, this generator, maybe a total of four or five hours, not 24 seven. So this could potentially last 10 years before you have to even replace a filter. This could go 15 years before you would even need to replace the generator. You can use pretty much anything that's going to help yourself or your client to get their heart rate up, but they have to accelerate and decelerate constantly throughout the protocol. So you want something that they can pedal on, that they can increase the resistance, because on this, for example, when I'm on it, I actually get off of the saddle and I increase the resistance and I hit it really hard until my heart rate gets up to about 160, 170 beats per minute. That's me. That's not what you should do. There's a protocol uh, for everybody and that's based on your age. But that's what I do with this. And you have to think about the fact that you have a hose coming out of your face. So a rowing machine may not be the best solution because that's going to get in the way. It's in front of you. Ellipticals with the handles, okay, the handlebars going back and forth, that, that hose will definitely get in the way. That's what I like about an upright bike like this because the hose can go right over the front of the handlebars, right down underneath 
the bags. As long as you've got something to get your heart rate going and then you can speed up on it and get the heart rate up and then relax and calm back down and repeat. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. It can be a simple ergometer. Uh, they make devices that sit on the floor and you just pedal with your feet and you can sit in any chair in the house. These are called lower body ergometers. There's upper body ergometers where you can sit again on a chair. This is for people that are uh, handicapped and they can actually pedal with their arms and get their heart rate up. Some people use a trampoline. They just stand in place and they jump up and down. Whatever is good for you, whatever you're comfortable getting your heart rate up and down throughout that 15 minute period. So now that we just finished stage two of the superhuman protocol, hypermax oxygen, we're gonna do stage three, which is red light therapy, also known as photobiomodulation. Now, what does that mean? That means light is gonna be absorbed by the cell and the free radical is gonna get kicked out so oxygen can come back in to make ATP. So we're gonna lay in a full body red light bed or you stand in front of a red light panel, whatever you have, and you're gonna be in that device for about 10 to 20 minutes. Now let me explain exactly what happens with light. I'm gonna talk about the science for a second. So when a cell, a mitochondrial cell, meaning a cell in the tissue, skin, organs, a cell with the mitochondria, when that cell absorbs light, cytochrome C oxidase, which is a little terminal enzyme at the end of the electron transport chain, lets go of a free radical called mitochondrial nitric oxide. And it's competing with oxygen. So when we kick that guy out, oxygen can come back in and make ATP, adenosine triphosphate. That's our energy chemical. You can't heal. You can't regenerate. You can't thrive if you're not making ATP optimally. So that was a fancy way of saying, we're kicking the bad guys out of the house so the good guys can come back in. So let's look at this analogy. Let's say you have a house and at night when it's dark, you have a bunch of thieves inside stealing things. But if you turn on the floodlights, all the thieves go running for the hills. And now oxygen can come back in to save the day and make ATP optimally again. Another analogy is when you cut open an apple, it starts to brown. That's called oxidation. It happens to our cells. We call that oxidative stress. But if we put lemon juice on that apple, it slows it down. Think of light as lemon juice for our cells. We are slowing the aging process to a crawl. So right after you do oxygen, do light therapy. Light therapy will be put on steroids. So you do PMF therapy, followed by oxygen therapy, followed by light. That is the superhuman protocol. And we're doing three natural elements, three of Earth's elements, in that order, in magnitude order, to restore order. Thank you.